Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay and today I'm going to talk about the Eagles and Dallas Cowboys Week 10 Recap. And the Eagles have got the victory 34 to 6. Give you my thoughts overall and give you my thoughts on the Cowboys as well. As the Eagles, you know, pretty much took over that game and dominated in the second half. In the first half, the Eagles, you know, a bit slow. The Eagles did have a couple turnovers in the game when the Eagles went up 14 to basically three in the first half. And that's pretty much sets it up right there. But overall, it was, you know, Jalen Hurts had a couple of turnovers. He had a fumble and he had an interception in the game. But he eventually he turned things around and got some touchdowns and helped the team get the victory. And plus that defense is playing excellent since after the bye week they've been playing lights out. So this team is on a roll, but they have a short week coming up against the the commanders who have come lost last their last game against Pittsburgh. So it's a short week for both teams and a lot of expectations. I mean this is the first time these two teams will compete against each other to control the NFC East. Now we look at the Eagles, you know, they can make some fixes and some things. Hertz needs to uh, get some, like, fixes. He needs fixes as well. He gave her, like, five sacks in the first half and stuff, which is fixable. But he needs to, you know, get rid of the ball more. But in the second half, he performed much better. We like to see him do it for four quarters, not just a one half. So, they do need some fix things. But overall, the way things are going, the Eagles are rolling. And they're getting, in, and plus the defense is rolling as well, too. So, right now, everything looks good for Philadelphia. Meanwhile, for Dallas, they are a mess, and they have a cultural problem where you have your best your best defensive players saying your head coach can go anytime he wants. It's not taking, and the players are not taking responsibility. They're basically pointing fingers at everybody else, so, which is a big problem. So, right now, the Dallas Cowboys, what I think they need to do is just start over and just scrap everything up. Make changes up, and you already got a quarterback who has signed a $60 million quarterback, and he's now out for the rest of the season with a hamstring injury. Plus, he's going to have surgery done. I wish Dak Prosper asked for recovery, but you know, you have to rely on Cooper Rush or Trey Lance to see who you got. The way I see, you might as well start tanking. So, it's not good in Dallas. It is not good in Dallas, but as Philly fans, we love it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk the stats. Like I said, Dallas, we know McCarthy's gone. Uh, who's the most of the lane? I mean, the player's not getting it done. I say Jerry Jones, the GM, needs to go, not Jerry Jones, the owner. But it ain't going to happen. And things are not going to change. Uh, you Cowboys fans, if you look at history... You only won two playoff games in how many years? You haven't been in the NFC Championship game in how many years? And Super Bowl. Ever since you had Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy Johnson cut all the credit, and Jerry Jones didn't like it, so eventually he fired Jimmy Johnson. He wanted to prove that he can win the Super take get the credit that he wants what Jimmy Johnson did. The Cowboys in those days. You know, but... He hasn't, so I don't see happening in the near future unless they, he hires unless Jerry Jones he goes back to being an owner and has somebody else be the GM and figure out the problem. It ain't gonna work. I'll just say that right now. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the stats and scoring. Uh, play of the game from Jalen Hurts. I'll just say that right now. And he goes uh, 348 yards stolen. And offense, Cowboys 146. He was committed seven penalties. Cowboys five. 49 yards penalty yards for the Eagles. 40 for the Cowboys. The Eagles had three, four minutes and one second. Cowboys had 25 minutes and 59 seconds with the time possession. Jalen Hurts 14 for 20. Two touchdowns, 202 yards. And one interception. Kenny Pickett came in the fourth quarter. One complete one pass for uh, two for five yards. Cooper Rush, 13 for 23, 45 yards, no touchdowns. Trey Lance came in the game as well, four for six, 21 yards and an interception. 
and you look at the running back situation, you need a running back, you need to fix an offensive line for Dallas, and you need a new receiver. How about CD Lamb? So, way I see Dallas, you might as well start rebuilding, get your hot draft pick, start, uh, you know, you know, tank him. Saquon Barkley, 14 carries, 66 yards. Jalen Hurts, 7 carries for 56. And two touchdowns. Will Shipley, 9 carries for 34. Kane Game, 1, 7 carries for 30. Kane Pickett, carry for 1, 10 for 1 yard, which is a touch push. Uh, Downey, 12 carries, 53 yards. Zeke so got 6 carries, 22 yards. Fumble. Trey Lance, 3 carries, 3 for 17. See so Kane Lamb, 1 for 3. Cooper Rush, 2 for 2. A.G. Brown, 5 catches, 109 yards. Uh, Jahan Dawson, 1 catch for 27. I'd like to see him a little bit more in the offense. A little more targets, too. Dallas Goddard, 2 for 25. Devontae Smith, 2 for 14. Saquon Barrett, 1 for 12. Kane Gay went 1 for 9. Day Smith, 2 for 6. And Johnny Wilson with one touchdown as well. Plus, Dallas Goddard got his touchdown as well. Ferguson, 4 catches, 24 yards. He land, 6 catches for 21. He missed a touchdown because he couldn't see could do that blind sun. I can understand that. That sun blinds you. You don't see the ball. You can't blame him. You can't blame C.D. Lamb on that one. Uh, Torwood, four, three catches, 14 yards. Brooks, one catch for four. Doyle, Downey, or whatever is leading the run back, three catches for three yards. Uh, scoring summary for teams. Start with a one yard run from Hertz. Yeah, the bush. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, made 7 0. Uh, Dallas later on answered back with a 46 yard field goal, made 7 3. Dallas in the second quarter answered back with a 23 yard field goal, made 7 6. Eagles came back a 14 to 6 before halftime. With a 14 yard pass to Dallas Goddard. Uh, Joining Wilson in the third quarter. Catches a pass from Hurts, made 21 6. Hurts with an 8 yard run. Made 28 6. Jake Kelly had two more field goals in the fourth quarter, man. Mm, 34 to 6. Going to the defensive side of things. Cowboys really didn't do their job. They turned the ball over five times in this whole game. Uh, Eagles on third down with three for four for 11, 36%. Convert one fourth down today. Cowboys were two for two on fourth down, but third down they were three for 14. So going to the defensive side, he was sacked on. Eight tackles combined, two fumble forces. He is a gem. I mean, what a fun day. He was Scott. I think they deserved him. He deserved the extension. Probably like a two to three year contract, maybe three years the most. Not too much. I uh, see the yard Johnson with seven tackles of one interception. So Kobe Dean with six tackles. Reed Blankenship with four tackles and a fumble recovery. Isaiah Rogers with four tackles. Jalen Carr with four tackles and a half sack. Uh, De Cooper Jean with three tackles. Williams with two tackles and a sack. Bring on Mitch with two tackles. He's been playing really good ball. And he shut down these top receivers. Burks with two tackles. Green with two tackles and a half sack. Uh, Huff with a tackle. With one tackle and a sack. And a fumble force. So it's good to see uh, Huff get in there. Get his, at least get a sack. Get a fumble force. Turn things over. Sweat with one tackle. Uh, Hunt with one tackle. Um, Drew with one high, Davis, Charles with one tackle as well. Well, going to the uh, Cowboys side, Overshow with 11 tackles, two sacks, Kendrick with eight tackles, Carson with five tackles, Lufu, I'm saying right, with four tackles, Hooker with four tackles, Watkins with four tackles, Lewis with four tackles, Smith with four, with four tackles, Wilson with three. Goldstein with three, Michael Parsley with three, with two tackles and two sacks. Wheaton with two, two. Virgil with two, Joseph with two, Minkadu with one, uh, Odejumil with one and a point five. 
Walters, and we'll put a half sack as well with the same thing. Butler with one, Bell and Terrell Diggs with an interception. And that was it for the Dallas Cowboys. So, Philadelphia got a short week. Big game against the Commanders. Short week, big game coming. Thursday night. This is going to be a test for them. Commanders are coming in. They were hot. Lost to the Steelers by a point. Also, with the, how things went in that game, too. Commanders are about to get the ball back. But all they had to do is did not jump off sides. But they did. Rookie mistake. You know, they console him and stuff. I expect this team to fight back and give the Eagles a test. The real question is, can the Eagles shut down and uh, get pressure and contain Jalen Daniels? I opinion that Jalen Daniels is going to be the favorite to win the Rookie of the Year on offense. The real question is, can they contain Scary Terry McLaurin and the other receivers and contain Washington's running game? That's going to be the way to find out. This game's at Lincoln Financial Field. I heard, and can the Eagles run the ball and pass the ball and not turn it over and not take any sacks? And plus another thing, is Nick Sirianni going to take the points or continue risking it and going for on fourth down? That's another thing we have to look at. What do we see? I didn't know the Eagles were going to blow out the Cowboys because usually Dallas plays good against Philadelphia. I figured this might be, you know, one of them trap games where we saw before we saw, you know, like Cooper Rush get a Dallas chance they fall short. This time didn't happen. The Eagles blew them out of the water. So, short week, Thursday night, I'm taking the Eagles against the Commanders. Not by much, by three points. I think this is close because you can't count them out. Commanders is a, you know, we fear they'll be, you know, in contention. We fought Eagles, Cowboys, Commanders, Giants. It's now Eagles, Commanders, then Cowboys, and Giants. This is between these two teams, the NFC East. I think the Eagles would take about three points. That's going to be one of the close games. Could come down to a turn, could come down to a sack. Three point game. I think the Eagles squeak by. Come down to maybe a late field goal. Come down to make a mistake, you know. But three point game, 27 24. I'll stick to that. You know, it's going to be one of those, it's a tough bow. You know, eventually you got. But the way the defense is playing for the Eagles, you might expect them to maybe bend a little, but who knows? I don't know. Like I said, this could be a tough one. This could be a blow, or it could be one of those low-scoring games. I don't know, but this is a short week for both teams. One team is looking to rebound. One team to get ahead of, put another game ahead over the command and to get ahead in the division. So it's going to be interesting to see how these two teams clash. This is going to be really interesting between a veteran and a young veteran team against a young up-and-coming team. So, this is going to be a good game, I expect. So, don't be surprised me, like I said, it comes down to a field goal. So, you guys set down the Washington's offense and, and how the Eagles going to respond. You know, they rely on Saquon Barkley and plus another thing, it comes down to Sirianni. Does he take the points or does he risk it and go for it? If I was Sirianni in this type of game, I think about taking points, you know, because the points does matter when it's getting close to the end. So it's going to be on Prime Video. And the U.S. after that, they go Sunday night against the Rams, then Baltimore, Carolina, Pittsburgh, Commanders, Dallas, and Giants. So, like I said, at home, Lincoln Financial, this place is going to be proud. It's going to be interesting to see how Jalen Daniels handles this, the, the Philly team, this Philly crowd. So hopefully the Eagles can squeak out the win or get a win. So looking forward to it. That's my thoughts on it. So hope you liked the video. Hit that like button. And also smash that subscribe button. Turn on the notification. That way you miss an upload. And I hope you have a safe and wonderful day or night. Depending on when you're watching this. And I will see you next time. Take care, stay safe, stay humble, be a blessing, and 
fly, eagles fly, go birds.